Hey guys, welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. This past weekend, in response to the murder of George Floyd, people gathered to protest as well as take to their social media to express their anger of the continued police brutality we see in this country. Athletes, coaches, and brands all posted on social media demanding change and justice. Many people quoting a famous Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. quote that says, there comes a time when silence is betrayal, after noticing a group of people not posting or standing up. This then caused the NFL to release a statement saying this, There remains an urgent need for action. We recognize the power of our platform in communities and as part of the fabric of American society. We embrace that responsibility and are committed to continuing the important work to address these systematic issues together with our players, clubs, and partners. Uh, Okay, NFL. Needless to say, that did not sit well with, well, pretty much everyone. For starters, the NFL did not once mention police or police brutality in their statement. So their statement never actually even addressed the actual issue. You see, the problem with the NFL is that they have already told us what they stand for. The NFL has a history of issues that show they are doing everything but working to help end these injustices, most notably in 2016 when San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick decided to use his platform to kneel during the national anthem in protest of racial injustices and police brutality in this country. The NFL punished Kaepernick for his peaceful protest by banishing him from the NFL. Others who chose to kneel, like Eric Reid, were given an abnormal amount of drug tests among other negative treatment. And this isn't the first time the NFL has had such an issue. Last season, we celebrated NFL 100, making 100 years since the NFL started. That same year, the NFL also received a B grade for racial hiring practices, which actually dropped from 89% the year before to 82.3% and a C for gender hiring practices. Some are surprised with the grade being as high as it is, but it's because it includes the players and African American players actually make up over 70% of the league. However, coaching is another story. In 2003, the NFL adopted the Rooney Rule, which required teams to interview at least one person of color for a head coaching position. Just a few years later, the 2007 Super Bowl became the first in league history to have two African American head coaches face against each other. But now, over 15 years later, the league only has four head coaches of color and two general managers of color. The league has since decided to partner with Jay-Z to help with an initiative called Inspire Change. That came up with another flop, which was an idea to incentivize teams to hire black coaches and GMs by giving them a boost in position on a third round pick in the draft. Now, I personally understood how this could have been effective, but still, it was definitely an L for the National Football League. And let's not forget Riley Cooper, who was a receiver for the Eagles when he was caught on camera at a country concert calling a black man the N-word. He never received any punishment, and his teammates had to sit in a locker room the entire season and pretend like their teammate was not a racist. And just this year alone, the Patriots signed a player who had three white supremacist tattoos on his body that he claimed he didn't know what they meant. Whether it's social injustices or even the double standards with some athletes getting away with domestic violences and others being punished for the same crime, the NFL has a long, long way before they can even begin to get the respect back from the communities. And I think it starts at the top with Roger Goodell stepping down as commissioner. What are your guys' thoughts on this? How can we get the NFL into a better position? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you soon.